Which also my wife's 2011 F-150. Something I don't videotape a lot because it stays stock and it's a family hauler and it does its job. Now, in November of last year I replaced the overflow hose with an OEM Ford piece. Spent about 60 bucks for coolant for the hose, etc. Fast forward to now, and it's leaking again. Why? Well, Ford decided an infinite wisdom to use an O-ring and a clip to hold the hose in place. And instead of buying a new hose, I found a new kit that rids of the O-ring and clip setup. Let me show you what I got and who I got it from, and I'll be right back with y'all. Racing. That is who I went with. They make a kit. It's a one-inch hose, 90 down to a three-quarter inch hose. You basically cut the factory clip and hard plastic off to get rid of the o-ring it uses a three-quarter inch hose adapter to three-quarter inch part fitting this comes with two three-quarter inch hose clamps and then two one inch hose clamps to adapt it all now you can see in here this is the problem right here I've already replaced it once and it's leaking again right from the o ring. So, I'm going to take off this intake tube and I'll get you guys a better view and show you exactly what we're doing. Here, you guys can see better down there. So, midway, here we are. I ended up taking the reservoir and the air box out, made my life a hell of a lot easier. This 90 is supposed to slide all the way flush with the overflow tank, but it's a pain in the butt to try to do it while it's in the truck. So, y'all might hear I'm a little winded, but tech tip, Don dishwashing detergent makes a great lube to slide the hose all the way up to his new home. That also being said, when this was in the truck, I showed you where the 90 is, a little bucket like this from Lowe's, it's about three bucks, fits in there perfect so you guys can drain your cooling out. Now you're going to get some runoff out of the hose itself, you can see I have it bent up right here. But, this makes life easier. Now, we're going to double hose clamp this. We're going to put this nipple, double barb fitting, sorry, into here. We'll hose clamp that, put it all back together, and I'll show you guys the install, or the final install. Alright, y'all. So, you guys can see the hose is installed. Um, it uses a double hose clamp to get over the fitting on the overflow. Now it's a little tricky to get it tight, but once you do, um, I can't really offer any tech tips. You gotta kind of just figure out what you want to do to hold it there. Like I said, I did it out of the truck and made life easy. Um, and when you have where the aluminum three quarters bar male to male fitting was right there, that's the factory hose that was cut. I'll show you guys what I cut off of it. This is the problematic O-ring piece. We just cut it off, and see like we have clearance everything. I'm going to put the intake tube on, fire it up, make sure we have no leaks. And since I'm working on my personal daily driver, we are going to see y'all. Sorry we got cut off. What I was saying is, this thing is going to be used as my daily for the next week or so while my Jeep is getting fixed here at home. You guys can see double hose clamp on the overflow. You guys can see where I cut and adapted it there. Pegasus Racing for about, I think it was 30 bucks. Um, make sure you guys use the right coolant for these F 150s. Fairly straightforward, fairly simple. A few little pain in the ass things to do, like getting the tube to slide all the way on. But like I said, use some Dawn and it'll slide right onto your overflow tank. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, once again, I'm sorry it cut off at the tail end there. There's a good view of everything.